Today we're going to look at three ways to deal with editing different size aspect ratios in the same edit sequence. If you're new to our channel, we're all about sharing mobile filmmaking tools, tips, and techniques for indie filmmakers, YouTube creators, mobile journalists, and really anyone who wants to create better video using their smartphone. If you've watched much YouTube at all, then you've seen B-roll sequences like this that are letterboxed. This is how the majority of people shoot it. They shoot 16 by 9 and then just crop it. This is done with a crop. So let's jump in Adobe Premiere Pro and take a look at how I did this. Very simple. All we do is grab the crop effect, drag it on the clip. For a widescreen look, usually a setting of 13 gets it about right. And so you're actually cropping away the top and bottom of the video. And then to make the letterbox come on like I did, all you do is keyframe that on. So you'd set keyframes and then it slides on and slides off. The next way is using an overlay or a mat. So you would take your 16 by 9 footage and then drop a mat on a layer above it. So we'll jump back here in Premiere Pro again. The mat files are PNGs with a transparency and they're predetermined the size already. They go in the layer above it and then so everything below that will have the letterbox. It almost works like an adjustment layer, if you're familiar with adjustment layers. The nice thing about this way is you can easily move the footage up and down too. You can do that with a crop as well, but this way I find to be a little bit easier. This is one reason I like to shoot 16 by 9 when I'm going to edit widescreen because then I can reposition the shot in post-production. So this is all working in a standard 16 by 9 edit sequence. But really the best way to do this is actually work in the aspect ratio that you're going to be exporting in. That way there is no letterbox. It's just widescreen or whatever size aspect ratio your project is. So in the previous two examples, our sequence was set to 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080. And those are the typical HD settings. But let's say you shot 16 by 9 and you want to deliver 21 by 9, which is also 64 by 27. It gets a little bit confusing. But 21 by 9 is a more cinematic aspect ratio. So in this case, we're going to use the actual aspect ratio, the one we're going to deliver the project in. So we'll take our 16 by 9 clips, and when you drop them in an edit sequence like this, you'll see that there's black bars on the left and right. That would be pillar boxing this footage if you weren't going to reframe. But here, that's what we're going to do. This is 4K 16 by 9, and so we have plenty of room to move it around in this HD widescreen sequence. And not only can you zoom in on the footage, but you can also, again, move it up and down, just like you did with the letterbox or the crop. So you can reposition it to get the framing and the composition that you want. Now I'm going to do this on these next clips too, and I'm speeding through this. The same process on each clip here. And then when you play it back, you're in a true widescreen aspect ratio. No letterbox, no black bars. And today, most sites like YouTube or Vimeo will accept uploads like this. And of course, if you're delivering a movie, you're going to do a DCP. That's a whole nother thing but it's in the same world. So really, if you want to deliver widescreen, instead of doing black bars on YouTube, this is the best way to do it. But what if you have multiple aspect ratios in the same project? For example, if you have anamorphic footage, this was shot on a Moondog Labs anamorphic adapter. That's de-squeezed. And then here's what that would look like if it wasn't de-squeezed. This is the squeezed image in a 16 by nine. And so you have to de-squeeze that and have a letterbox if you want to do it in a 16 by nine. And then let's say you want to match a shot in the same edit sequence with that look. So you would take a 16 by nine shot and letterbox it. And let's say you have another 16 by nine shot that has stuff on the top and bottom that can't be letterboxed. Just for the sake of argument, let's say you want to see that tower in the trash can. That clip will have to play back in full 16 by nine, no letterbox. 
So this is how that will look. You've got anamorphic letterboxed, 16 by nine letterboxed, and then 16 by nine just full frame. There are so many different aspect ratios from today and from the past that it's really hard to keep up. And in a lot of the work that we do, we'll have multiple aspect ratios in the same project, and we tend to edit in 16 by nine for those. And so our favorite way to work with this is using overlays or mats. Doing it this way just works better than cropping because when you use overlays, you get the exact dimensions for the various aspect ratios versus having to guess with a crop. And this will work in Adobe Premiere Pro, in Final Cut Pro 10, in LumaFusion. It'll work in any editor. These are just PNG files. So just several ways to quickly and easily letterbox your footage, no matter what aspect ratio you're working with. Although if you can, edit in the aspect ratio that you want. So you don't even have to letterbox. But when you do, when you're mixing different ratios, this is a great way to go. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, definitely do that now so you won't miss any of our future content. And we'll see you in the next one.